<laughs> I'm gonna get you your words. Just hold on, I'm working on it right now. Okay? It's a big day, folks. Big day, we got a brand new communication device just came in, so we're gonna get that opened up here. And a lot of people ask questions on this topic specifically, so I was like, what a great opportunity. Hmm, I've never seen that before. That's very interesting. Haven't seen that on other devices. So this is a refurbished iPad 4, first of all. Of course, it's dead as a doornail. They often come that way, dead. So hopefully this video helps anyone looking for a communication device specifically. This is twofold because the reason why this is such a great combo, what are you giggling about down there? It's great because it is not only, in my opinion, one of the best options uh, for a communication device, but also pretty budget friendly, all things considered. If you have ever been in the market for a communication device, um, they're extremely expensive. I mean, mind-blowingly expensive for the stand standalone devices. So this is kind of the best way to go. Don't you turn my light off. Can you turn my light back on, please? Oh, that's not my light. Turn the other light back on. No, the other one. The other light. You're not funny. No, no, that's the outside light. T no, turn this light back on. Thank you. Leave it. Leave it. No, leave it on. Turn it. <laughs> it's not funny. Nobody thinks you're funny. Okay. It's okay. The overhead lights tend to bother her. So we'll just, we'll just work with what we got, okay? That's, that's aggressive, but it's what we got. Okay, so big part of this kit is protection of it because we do want to keep it safe. Um, something I would highly recommend, I have done two warranty claims on it with Assurian. Everything I have here comes from Amazon. I'll put links down in the video description for you guys. Uh, the Assurian is, uh, is like the protection plan for it. So that's the company I go with. And um, twice now they've come through on replacing the device or refunding me depending on, you know, the situation. Um, I've used on everyone. It's worth the, like, it ranges. Uh, usually it's like $35, $36 for the protection. Um, this was a $130 iPad. So it's better than buying a whole new iPad, you know. So this is how they pretty much come. Every one that I've gotten, they're just, there's not, not signed into iCloud or anything like that, but they have gotten past the point of, you know, setting up the iPad just for the initial setup. But you gotta go in and reset everything in order to add it to your iCloud account. Now, I did get screen protectors for it, as I always do. Um, I use a tempered glass screen protectors. Again, I'll link all this down below. But this one already has one on it. It came with one came with one on it, which is pretty interesting. I've never had that before. Like I can feel it on the edge of the iPad. So we're good to go there. We'll leave that one on. That saves me a little bit of hassle because nobody likes putting on screen protectors. It sucks. This is the case that we have for it. This is the Pepco case. They're currently out of stock, unfortunately. I happen to have an extra one because uh, we have had several colors of these, but um, I had an extra one, so we lucked out there. But I will link some options um, for the case. The reason why we went with the iPad mini 4 specifically is it has a home button. It has a capacitive or an actual physical home button rather instead of swipe gestures like the new iPads have and that just makes it more accessible. It's easier to manage. But with the tempered glass screen protector and the plastic frame around it and then it goes into the kind of foam, you know, dense foam protective case, it's pretty rock solid. Like it, it makes it really tough. Um, it does have a stand slash handle, so you can use it like a kickstand like this, or you can carry it around like that. So we've had a multiple of these, like I wanna say four or five of these cases. They've always been great. Unfortunately, it's out of stock right now, um, probably because this, this iPad is showing its age. It is an iPad, you know, four, uh, mini four. That's very important. The reason why we go with the mini is if we go out to dinner, if you're, um, you know, she's working on something in school, she, you know, whatever the situation is, she has an area to lay her iPad down. It's going to take up a lot less real estate. Uh, that way she can focus on her work or, you know, be able to eat her food or whatever she's doing and still have her communication device there. We did start with a full-size iPad because it provides more screen space 
so she didn't have to be as accurate with you know touching the screen uh you know with choosing what button she wanted to use to communicate and i'll show you guys the communication app once we get this thing together okay we're only at two percent so we're gonna let this thing charge up and then we'll come back and do the rest okay so it's actually a few hours later um many hours later abby's got a toy up in her room if i don't know if you guys can hear that or not but she's playing it non-stop it's one of those like animatronic stuffed animals that just keeps playing music Okay, a couple things I recommend. We got the iPad set up now. We got everything transferred over. Deleted the apps she doesn't need. But deleting apps has been a problem for us. So we don't want her to accidentally delete her communication app. Because then we have to go back in and reinstall it from the cloud and all that. So it's a pain. So if you go into screen time here. And you can go into iTunes and App Store purchases. First of all, you have to turn on content and privacy uh, restrictions. And then go into iTunes, App Store preferences and you want to uh, deleting apps you want to turn that off so mark that as don't allow to turn that off installing apps that's up to you if you don't if you want your kid installing them or not that's completely up to you um, and then you can have like require password or don't require password for um, you know for those apps i would also recommend setting up accessibility so have guided access turned on Okay, and just use the accessibility shortcuts. You can triple tap the home button and it will lock them into whatever app is open on the screen at the time. It also locks the volume, which is which is key. Uh, you know, we love that Abigail wants to listen to music videos and stuff like that. She loves watching YouTube um, on her iPad, but she wants it at full volume, which is just not appropriate for like, you know, you go out in public place somewhere so we can lock the volume. Uh, so that she can still hear it, but it's not interrupting other people. And then also, uh, when you're working with therapists and stuff, and she's working in her uh, communication app, we can actually lock it into the communication app. We just put a simple password in there. So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Everybody knows it. It's easy to remember. She's just not going to be able to get into it and unlock it. And if she hits the home button or the volume buttons, it doesn't it doesn't change anything. It'll pop up a little message says guided access um, on the top. And then you can end it and unlock it. Because we do want her to be able to obviously go into her communication app, go right into YouTube, you know, do whatever she wants to do on the device. It is her voice and it's her entertainment. We have the luxury that Abigail has learned to use it for both the same device. We did have two devices at one time. One was only for words because she would she wasn't using it um, really at all to communicate with. So that's another point. Like if you're if you have a young child who is not using their iPad to communicate, kind of a little bit of pushback on it. Give it time. Um, keep reinforcing the use of that iPad every single time you can get them to do it, even if it's hand over hand, like, you know, showing them where to tap, whatever, um, because it will open up a world of possibilities when it comes to communication. So Abigail uses an app called TD Snap, and you can customize it however you want. Every word or phrase that you can think of is pre-built into this app with tons and tons of categories uh, that, that they have available with subcategories and everything else. Um, and their, their icons already listed in there. You notice like some of her stuff, like we go into food, you, we have actual pictures um, in there. So that's like her favorite food items. Um, she can select to go and you know, she wants to go for a car ride, car ride or something like that. She has um, all the places that she loves to go. Let's go. All built into this app and so we kind of move things around and customize it to where it works better for her and then as her language expands through uh through this communication app then we can kind of add things to her shortcuts so to speak like her home page you know with categories and stuff so uh, a lot of it's like you know food drink go places um uh, feelings is on there like i don't want to do that i don't like this you know you know, she's 18, so a lot of things are like, I don't want to do this, but <laughs> um, I like it. She has that on there as well. And then we even set up hey, Google. A, a shortcut so that she can utilize. Um, and we haven't worked on that a lot, but I want to add that more in. Like she can tell the, the Google HomePod to play music or whatever. So I think that'd be really cool. She could use a voice assistant without having a voice, without having a verbal vocal voice. She obviously 
has a voice thanks to uh, thanks to this setup so as i said everything is linked in the video description um, we have our affiliate links down there for you guys on amazon i'll uh, link the td snap on there it's about 50 bucks for the app um, which is pretty cheap if you're if you're aware of the price of um, communication apps of robust good communication apps it's a, it's a good price they came down considerably it used to be 250 um, there are other communication devices out there i'm not saying this is the best one this is just what work, what works best for her and it's been able to grow with her over the years and then with the ipad the case the um, tempered glass screen protectors everything included we're into this for um under $200, right at $200 with the protection as well. So if you know anything about AAC devices, um, they get into the tens of thousands that insurance companies, people have to fight insurance companies to pay for. Then if they get broken, you have to send them off and wait for them to come back. You don't have a backup device in the interim. So this just worked way better for us. You know, I ordered this on Amazon and it, it was here the next day. Uh, you know, we can, we've had them delivered before um, because she broke it, you know, at night or whatever and we had it delivered here the next morning before she even woke up so you can't beat that as far as you know with the price of it and everything and they do last a good while in this case the last one we probably got nine or ten months out of that which is which is fantastic i cannot complain at all because this goes everywhere with her all day long all day use every single day um you know it's her voice so that's that's pretty good that's pretty reasonable if you break that down per day, you're talking a penny. I don't know. I don't know. Someone do the math on that. Eight months, to, you know, divided by two hundred dollars. That's that's wild. I hope this helped some folks out. I hope you can uh, get your child started down the road of communication. You don't have to have speech therapy in order to get these things started. You know, you can start with it. And uh, there's tons of training available online to learn TD Snap as far as the app and how to control everything. Um, it's all available out there on the internet, you know, just like this video, you can learn a lot just by going on, just by going on YouTube, but, uh, also your speech therapist, speech and language pathologist, ABA therapist, um, occupational therapist, they will all work with AAC communication devices, iPads, doesn't matter what it is. So, all right. Thanks for watching. See you guys in the next one. Bye.